Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into this unboxing, and we're going to see what we have. We're going to have two angles. We're going to have a camera here, and then we're going to have a camera up here. So, first things first, let's grab our knife and cut into this type of warehouse once again. I already know what's going to be in here, but as you know... We're going to open this see what we got. Check that out guys. Paper we don't need. Okay. You know, tackle warehouse sticker. Nothing crazy. And uh, first things first, we have my 12 out, 12 aw owner beast hooks. These are perfect hooks that I mean you could use for big swim baits. I'm using the Smash Tech uh, soft plastic swim baits, which are the ones that we're going to be using for these hooks. And 12 out was recommended. I recommend you guys all get the little twist lock technology. I don't know if you guys could see that with that glare. Twist lock technology is really going to help you out to keep that bait there. And uh, we have two more things here. The other one is the bull. It's by a company called Bullshad Swim Baits. You guys should know them. They're really big in the swim bait industry. And this is burrito baits. This is called the Baca Burrito in tactical shad coloring. You guys know tactical bassing. These are the guys that made this color. And let me just show you guys right quick this beautiful burrito right here. So you can, you can see that color. This thing's insane. This is a six inch soft plastic swim bait. Really beautiful, guys. Let me just open this up for you. See if we could put it over here. Check that out, guys. I know that, that sun is really making hard time, but as you can see, Beautiful. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful. Right there. You guys can really see that color. Look at that nice, amazing tail. That profile is just insane. It's what a shad is. It's what a shad looks like. And it's what a big largemouth would eat. So we got it in this color. This is a tactical shad. I'll put everything down in the description below for you guys to check out and purchase. If you want to purchase one for your own, you can do the same. So it's this, the owner beast hook, owner beast hooks, and one more thing. It's another swim bait. And now this one is a little bit different. This is also the bullshit swim baits with the burrito baits collaboration. This is the Baca burrito swim bait in thread fin color. Now, I'm gonna read the instructions for you guys because I just want you to know what they say, quote unquote. Use and care guide. Natural shimmer series. The coloring components in this burrito are meant to be fished, so you gotta use it and fished hard. Just like any other burrito, we have rigorously water we have rigorously water tested and fished this series deliberately, trying to get water to wear off the color components. So I'm guessing as you keep on fishing, the color components are going to start fading away. Dozens of bass, big striper, and barramundi later, we firmly stand behind this durability. That said, intentionally trying to pull off the color with your hands, particularly if they are soiled, greasy, or otherwise contain any type of cleaning, chemical, or fish scent will cause some color component loss. So be mindful on how you handle your item, and the color will last till the PB rips your bait in half. Lol. LOL. You don't need kid gloves, but don't try to pull or rub the color off. Thanks. Mike at Bullshad. So, with that being said, guys, we're going to open this up, show the camera. Got a message on my phone. Guessing that's for the tail. But just try, I'm gonna try and be real careful with this. Try to get it off the packet.
We are really struggling. Oh, it's trying to come out because that's a staple in there. It has another one at the bottom. Look at that. Beautiful once again. The color, the profile, the tail. Absolutely beautiful right there, guys. This is just insane. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. So the colors here are, it says try not to rub it off. Oh, and I could see why they say that. I'm gonna put this thing down. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but my hands have glitter all over them. Let me open this book right here. I'm guessing it might be the same for this guy. So, guys, here we have them. These two beautiful baits right here. Tactical Shad. Thread fin. Just two beautiful swim baits. Absolutely amazing profile. The tails. These are money. Let's see if this other angle could pick it up. Check that out, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. And here are some tips for you guys that are going to be fishing big swim baits. I like to use a 300 size bait caster with a eight foot rod that eight foot rod I like it to be heavy with a fast action reason being why That eight foot gives you more leverage to grab your rod and really swing that bait out now remember tie a nice hook Not a hook tie a good knot tie a nice knot something you feel comfortable with throwing because these right here retail for I think it's $34 you do not want to lose this on the cast You don't want to lose a bait that's 75 bucks like the six cents draw which I have right here in one of my storage components and You know that 300 size reel you get a lot of line and the reason why I use 300 is because I use 20 pound fluorocarbon You want a good brand of fluorocarbon? I'd go with Sunline FC sniper Which is this brand right here? is the brand that I would recommend. Now, it is expensive, guys. It's gonna cost you quite a bit, but I mean, you want quality, this is what you wanna buy. And you know, it's winter time where I'm at in Texas. So you're gonna throw this. You could let it hit the bottom. It starts slowly rolling. You want that tail to side, 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 side. You want the tail to move water. These big bass are feeding, so, they see a little threadfin shad, little, a little threadfin shad just swimming through the water. They're gonna want to bite it. You're gonna grab that. You got a really stout hook, nice big wire on there, and it's gonna get the job done, guys. Uh, what can I say? There's nothing more to this video than just that. So once again, I want to give everybody a hug from my part through the camera. Just want to thank you guys for all the support. Uh, we're almost at 130 subscribers. Thank you for all the love, all the likes, all the comments. I really enjoy doing this for you guys. If you guys have anything that you want to see on this channel, catching more fish, that's going to be a tough one. But if you want to see more gear review, you have questions about certain techniques, you know, don't hesitate on leaving a comment down below and asking me. And that's about it, guys. Nothing much. Catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, Gabe. Out.